Like many, I am a huge fan of Tom Petty, and I am so thankful that his family and his estate are doing his music justice. They continue to put out really well done reissues and live archival performances. The latest, which is a set called Live at the Fillmore from 1997 is incredible. I got the three LP, immediately had to have more, and now I've got the box set. We're gonna unbox and discuss them both on this episode of Talking About Records. My name is G.I. Sanders from NTX Vinyl, a small chain of independent record shops in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If you're not local but you are in the U.S., you can shop online at ntxvinyl.com and would love it if you'd subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Follow us across social media on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at NTX Vinyl. Let's talk about the greatness of Tom Petty in his most recent release, Live at the Fillmore from 1997. Um, I was excited when this got announced not long ago because, first of all, it just looked really cool. You could tell the uh, um, the artwork was custom and done specifically for this release, which was really cool. They had um, a really cool animated video kind of bringing this to life. So I was excited about it right off the bat. Didn't know much about it, right? Um, and my first thought was, okay, there's a three LP, which is this one right here, which I'll show you. It's really nice. Uh, there's a six LP box set and there was also an Uber deluxe box set, which is only available through, uh, through the artist store, through tompetty.com. I got the three LP and I'm thinking it's probably enough. Like it's another live Tom Petty box set. Do I really need another? I've got a lot of Tom Petty box sets. I've got, uh, the best of everything, which is a really cool set. Um, and includes solo work as well as Mud Crutch. I've also got the, uh, the Super Deluxe Wildflowers, which um, this is, I think, a 8, eight LP, if I, had, if I remember correctly. Really, really nice set of one of my favorite albums ever. Um, I've got the American Treasure box set, which is really cool. And I've also got the Live Anthology. So, do I need another Tom Petty box set? Well, here's what happened. I got the three LP and it's super nice. This is a double gatefold with um, really nice photography. It also comes with a, uh, a booklet, if I can find it, um, or at least an insert, I believe. Yeah, so just an insert on this one. Um, so what happened was I listened to this a couple times. So it just comes with a standard insert. And probably midway through, I was already ordering the box set. That's how good this thing is. It is incredible. Um, you've got to understand the story around this. Um, and I learned a lot more as I read not only that insert, but then I got the box set and read even more because there's more information. So this was a residency that Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers did in 1997 at the Fillmore West in San Francisco. And you've got to understand for a band like Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, like they're playing arenas and festivals and stadiums and these things. And when you're playing in those environments, especially, you know, in the mid to late nineties, when he was a, a very popular artist, like you feel obligated to play your hits because you know that there are people in the audience at one of those big shows that maybe it's their first Tom Petty show, or maybe it's the only Tom Petty show that they'll ever see. And so you've got to play Free Fallen. You've got to play, you know, American Girl. You've got to play Refugee, all of the big hits, because you don't want to leave those out. Because believe me, I've been on the other side of that, and, you know, anecdotally, a small, small level where people will come up to you after show and go, oh, I can't believe you didn't play this. It's my favorite song. And it's inevitably one that you've played every single night and you get bored with that. With all that in mind, the Fillmore residency was the antithesis of it. Fillmore is a small theater slash club, um, and Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers played 20 shows there. 20 shows. Now, not 20 nights in a row. They took nights off, um, but 20 shows over the course of like a month, month and a half. 
which is just incredible from the audience standpoint because you're getting to see the artist in a much smaller venue. But what it did for the band and what what this uh, album shows is they just completely ripped up the script. They they certainly play some of their hits, but they play a ton of covers. They play a ton of different versions of songs, outtakes and things uh, that have never been performed except for in these shows, which is really, really fascinating. The audio quality, the mastering, everything about um, uh, this release, including the packaging and artwork is top notch. I mentioned on the intro, I'm just so glad that his estate is taking such care of um, of his catalog. So had the three LP, live with it for a little bit, and then I had to go for the box set. This is a six LP. Um, it's a liftoff box, which is interesting. I was curious if they were going to keep with the the theme, um, a lot of their box sets are more of this kind of book style where the albums come uh, right in the top, right in and out of the top. But this one's a, this one's a lift off box, right? And the deluxe comes with, first of all, let's get into the, the kind of extras and then we'll talk about the, uh, the tracks. Um, it comes with a package of extras, which is really cool. So the three LPs just got the, the insert I, insert I showed you and this comes with a bunch of other goodies. First of all, you've got this little guy here, um, which comes with a patch. Tom Payne and the Heartbreakers, the Fillmore House Band, which is really cool. And once you read about it and once you listen to it, you understand what that means because they really played that up. And after a few shows, they started just calling themselves the house band. And they got really familiar with the audience because there was a lot of people there night after night after night. And that really played into the set list and how they mixed it up every night. They didn't repeat a lot of songs night after night. Um, they repeated some, but um, they mixed it up with lots of covers, several uh, really cool guests, uh, it comes with a rec replica uh, VIP pass. You've also got uh, guitar picks, which are really cool. One for each of the guitarists with the uh, the house band on the back there. So you've got some cool kind of trinkets like that, which are always nice in a box set, really fun. You've got some replica set lists, which are really cool. So um, these are replica sets from, it shows it's from uh, Fillmore 1, Fillmore 3, Fillmore 4, so different nights. Now the Uber deluxe box set, which again, is only available at Tom Petty and I think retails for like over 500 bucks. It comes with um, a bunch more of the uh, replica set list, which is really kind of cool. That was one of the things that caught my eye. Um, this has also got a, uh, what looks like a uh, fan club newsletter. I don't know if this, I'm, I'm assuming this is a replica of what they released at the time. I wasn't in the fan, the Tom Petty fan club in 1997, but this is kind of cool. Um, a lot of photos and backstory and talks a lot about the, uh, the Fillmore residency. And then you've got, um, a, a, I guess like a lithograph, a numbered lith lithograph. So this is number 9,164, um, gold foil stamp there. Um, and I think the Uber Deluxe box set comes with a lot more lithographs and photography, which is really nice. Again, don't have that one. Then you've got this one. This is cool. This is the booklet I was talking about. So this has got tons of photography and tons of backstory. Uh, I feel like the 3LP came with the booklet too, but I, I guess I was just reading the insert. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting confused because I had them all. I can't, got them uh, back to back more or less. It was a couple days apart, but this booklet here that comes with the box set, this is really the meat of it. Um, there's a couple quotes in here. So like this first page here, this quote from Mike Campbell, this tells you everything you need to know about this box set. Playing the Fillmore West in 97 for a month was one of my favorite experiences as a musician in my whole life. This is Mike Campbell. The band was on fire and we changed the set list every night. The room and the crowd was spiritual and we got to play with some amazing guests. I'll always remember those nights with joy and inspiration. It's just, you read that and then listen to it and it makes perfect sense because I've, like I said, I've got a lot of petty box sets, got the whole discography. I've listened to plenty of live shows. I've never heard the band have so much damn fun. Like that's really what this is for me. Um, when you dive into the set list, and again, just on the, the six LP, the three LPs got a good, uh, a good mix of this. And then it of course dives deeper. It's probably about 50% covers, which Normally, I would look at a box set like this from an artist like Tom Petty and go, do I really need to hear 
Tom Petty covering You Really Got Me or um, uh, I'm looking for some other covers on the set. Uh, you Are My Sunshine. Like, do I really need to hear all of that? Yes, the answer is yes, because these versions are so good. The band is so loose and so in the pocket and just having so much fun to where I almost start to appreciate the covers on here as much as the originals. That said, some of the versions are the, of the originals are fantastic. And there's a version of here on here of uh, American Girl, which is like really stripped down and acoustic bass, which is probably my favorite version I've ever heard of the song, which is incredible. Um, you've got a bunch of performances. Uh, one of the, one of the cornerstone songs was Mary Jane's last dance that they played, I think at almost every show in one of the, uh, in the booklet or the insert, uh, they've got a, a listing of every song that was played and how many times it was played. Um, there were definitely repeats, but not a ton, but you got stuff like, uh, you got John Lee Hooker and Roger McGuinn come and do guest appearances. So, Again, I think the main thing as I was listening to this and what really prompted me to uh, to get the box set versus just having the three LP was the amount of fun the band is having. Like that's where I got enjoyment out of it because you can hear how much they are enjoying it. The crowd interaction, the crowd response is really, really great. And you can imagine uh, being in a small club like the Fillmore and... Um, coexisting with a band like the heartbreakers for that many nights in a row um really special really special and just so again thankful to the estate that they are doing this because um it does not go unnoticed from fans the amount of the amount of work that is put into this believe me i have a record label and i put out a lot of albums and I know what it takes and I can only imagine the amount of legwork it goes that you go through when you've got 20 shows recorded and you've got to whittle it down to three LPs or six LPs like that is not easy and to get it all to flow to to choose the best versions like there's a massive amount of TLC that goes into this and they're doing it right and I'm so thankful for it and happy for it so do yourself a favor Pick up one of these. If you can't do the box set, that's fine. Get the 3LP at least. It's so good. Both versions are great. Um, the Uber Deluxe is basically the same. It's all the same music. It just comes in a big like drum case type thing, which is cool and more artifacts. But the music uh, on the 6LP is the same in the Uber Deluxe, I will, I believe. So highly recommended. I don't know if this will stick around in print. Hopefully it will. Hopefully they'll keep this one um, alive because I want fans to be able to experience it and not, not miss out on this one. But it's a, a, just a, a really unique period for the band, and I'm so glad that they captured it in such a beautiful set. So check it out if you haven't already. I would love to hear feedback if you've already listened to this and what you're thinking. I've still got it on rotation. Obviously, six LPs of music is a lot to consume, so I'm just – uh, trying to play through them every day and work my way through the set. And uh, I'm discovering new stuff every day that, that I really enjoy. And the band is just absolutely on fire and uh, having the time of their lives and it shows. So that's my quick little unboxing review of Live at the Fillmore from Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Looking forward to what they come up with next because you know I'll be on, on board and grabbing it, whatever it might be. So thanks as always. Check it out if you're interested. Uh, this has been Talking About Records, and we will see you again next time.